Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is the Boney Cooksey. It is a maze cylinder but uh, a bit different from the others. The object of the puzzle is to start with the ring and to put it around the maze cylinder. And what you can see is that the ring has a knob at the inside here and here. So um, whereas most maze cylinders only have one of these knobs, this one has two. So uh, looking at the cylinder, and unfortunately it's black so it's a bit hard to see. Perhaps next time I should make it pink. But anyway, there are a lot of more of these knobs and together they form the maze. So when I put the ring onto the maze, at some point I can turn the ring and move things around a bit more. And well, very quickly I find myself lost in the maze. So how does this maze work? Well, I told you about the knobs and here is the pattern of the maze. As you see the pattern is periodic and uh, it shows you from here to here about 360 degrees around and here you see the knob pattern but it's hard to see the maze. So if you copy this pattern uh, shift it by 180 degrees and then paste it on it to itself you get this pattern which is actually the maze pattern. So you go in here and there you go and ok I think I'm in a dead end etc. So this is the way that you uh, solve the maze. But the maze itself it's uh, highly confusing and the knobs and the color obfuscate everything. I made this uh, style uh, I call it bony because um, I'm using the anthropology element software to make this bone type structure. It was just an attempt to see what it looked like. My question to you is about the name of the maze. I call it bony cooksey and the bony part is clear because of the bone structure. But why am I calling it cooksey? Thank you for watching.